Hi guys! Welcome back to my channel. And for today's video, pag-uusapan natin kung magkano ba ang sinasahod ng isang call center agent. Okay? So, sa mga nagtatanong dyan kung magkano ang sahod sa call center agent, I mean ng isang call center agent, watch this video para magkaroon ka ng idea kung magkano ba ang sahuran sa call center. Okay? And disclaimer, hindi ako recruitment, I'm not part of the recruitment team, and ang, la ang lahat ng laman ng video na to ay based lang sa sinahod ko or sa sinasahod ko at the moment and um, sahod ng mga friend ko na call center agent din and based on my experience as well. Pag nag... Um, nag interview or nag apply ako ng trabaho. Okay. So, sa lahat ng mga call center agent, hindi ko ito ginawa, hindi ko ginagawa ng video na ito para uh, magpasikat or whatever. Ginagawa ko ito para if ever uh, may mga tao na gusto mag-switch from corporate or ibang mga trabaho or work nila, ito ako call center agent. Magkaroon sila ng interest. Tsaka, why not? If, if kayo niya namang kitain I mean, kaya nyo kumita ng malaki compared sa sinasahod nyo ngayon. Walang masama dun. Okay? So, wala na maraming kuda. Umpisa na natin to. So, eto na nga. Balik tayo. Magkano ang sinasahod ng isang call center agent? I think of a factor kung paano nila nire-rate. Kung paano nila binibigay yung rate sa mga applicants or sa isang call center agent once you get hired. So, I come up with these three factors na makaka-apekto or three factors na magko-consider kung magkano yung rate na marireceive mo pag nag-apply ka sa isang call center. Okay. First factor na kinoconsider ng recruitment, kinoconsider nila yung tenority or yung experience mo. Whether you have no experience at all, 6 months experience, 1 year experience, 2 years experience, 3 years and up experience, kinoconsider nila yan. Okay? Second thing, kinoconsider nila kung ano yung account na open. Kinoconsider nila yung um budget or allowance ng account for um, a certain post. So, it depends on the account. Kasi may mga account na generous, may mga accounts na sakto lang, not so generous, pero it depends on the post itself. Because there is like technical support, customer service, billing, and any other. Kung saan ka ma-assign, depende yun sa position as well, sa post na available. Third thing na kinoconsider ko, or kinoconsider, um, I mean, i-expect nyo, is it depends on the company. Um, kaya ako nasabi it depends on the company. Just like um, client or accounts, kinoconsider, kailangan nyo rin i-consider yung company na pag apply nyo. Kasi there are companies na nagbibigay sila ng malaking offer talaga. Like, companies um, na nagibigay ng extra, extra something. So, magtanong-tanong tayo. Okay? So, without further ado, lahat ng three factors na yan, given those three factors na nasabi ko, magibigay ako sa inyo ng range. Again, for this, don't quote me on this dahil unang-una hindi ako recruitment. I'm not part of the recruitment team of any call center companies. Pangalawa, ito ay uulitin ko ulit, paulit, ulit, ulit based lamang ito sa experience ko, sa salary na natanggap ko, possible na salary na nare-receive ko ngayon at sa mga chismis-chismis sa call center based dun sa mga friend ko na call center agent based dun sa mga teammates ko before teammates ko ngayon ito 
Kung ikaw ay call center version o wala pang experience ever, 0 months to 6 months, 6 months to 1 year experience, maybe you can get as much as 16,000 up to 18,000. That's the basic that they can offer. Kung sa mga walang experience or kung may experience man, like hindi masyadong matagal, 6 months, um, most, I mean, maximum na yung 1 year. So, 16 to 18,000. Yes, that is 16 to 18,000. What you can buy in a 16 to 18,000, madami na yan. I mean, magkano ba ang rate ng minimum ngayon? ba? So, sobrang above minimum na yan. I mean, not really sobra, pero above minimum na yan. So, yun nga. Medyo malaki siya compared sa mga corporate jobs na rank and file or entry level position. Like in a bank, I used to work in a bank. Ang sahod ko lang is 13,000. And I'm a loan supervisor assistant, loan supervisor trainee. That's why I quit. Kasi mukha ka lang mayaman. Nakabusit mayaman ka na polo. You work in Makati. FX ka papasok. And then bus ka pa uwi. Diba? Naka-aircon ka lagi. Diba? Akala, akala ng mga kapitbahay nyo. Sa'yo yung pera sa bangko. Which is hindi naman. Ayun na nga. Kumugot lang ang very very light. Pangalawa. Kung may experience ka ng... Um, let's say one year, two years, up to, I mean, one year to two years, possible income sa call center world or possible package na marireceive mo per month, that is 18,000 to 20,000. Okay? 18,000 to 20,000. Medyo malaki-laki na yun. 18,000 to 20,000 yun yung pwede mong kitain. So, most probably, ang mga take-home mo nyan, uh, pagkatas yung mga tax, so, um, 18,000 to 20,000, let's say 20,000 yung offer sa'yo, based dun sa mga nasabi kong factor account, company, and then tenure or experience, let's say 20,000 yung nakuha mo, kasi meron kang 2 years experience. So, you have a gross income of 10,000 per per cut off and then less taxes so um, as much as I mean ang maybe take home mo dyan is around 8,000 to 9,000 or 9,500 every every um, every cut off so hindi na masama diba hindi na talaga masama 9,500 and then yung company mo let's say isang sakay lang, di ba? Hindi na yung masama. And, lastly, if you are 3 years and up, so marami-rami experience, and siguro, mga nag-hop ka na ng mga ilang company, so parang from company A to company B, hop lang ng hop, di ba? <laughs> De joke lang. Yun. So, from, um, from, I mean, kung mayroon ka ng 3 years, nabitili ako. So, kung may 3 years experience ka na, in a call center world, medyo al marami na tayong alam yan ng mga not so good. Uh, alam mo na yun, kung call center agent ka. Basta yun, 3 years, if you have 3 years experience, uh, possible income is around 25,000. Siguro 25,000, medyo na sa average average ano yan, nasa average um, level yan like customer service, ganyan 25,000. So, kung mga tech ka, technical support ganyan siguro mga pwede kang kumita ng mga 28,000 30,000 depende sa account. So, mga ganun ganun yung mga rates niya. Again 3 years and up, pwede kang kumita 25,000 or 28,000 to 30,000 ganun yung kitaan sa call center world. So, kung ikaw, nag-iisip-isip ka na, sana, um, maging way tong video na to para, yun nga, makapag-isip-isip tayo kasi maraming call center 
uh, company na na naglipa na ngayon. Hindi lang, I mean, hindi lang sa city, may mga sa provinces na rin. So, subukan mo, walang mawawala. And then, again, hindi ko na to sinama, pero syempre, consider din ng recruitment yung interview mo. So, syempre, galingan mo rin sa interview. Uh, practice ka lang uh, ng interview, galingan mo, and if you think na magaling ka naman, and nasagot mo naman yung mga questions with confident I mean, pwede ka naman tumawad let's say, offer niya 18,000 pwede kang, pwede mo pang stretch yun walang masama, just ask ba diba? kung mag, kung i-grant eh di, diba, good pero kung hindi, I mean ba diba? experience pa rin once you have an experience, at saka sa call center naman Pero naman in Christian like other other ano you know company. So you don't have to worry every kung habang tumatagal ka sa company, naging increase ka malay mo ma-promote ka pa, di ba? So hindi na rin masama. So yun guys, yun lang yung mga bagay na pwede kong i-share ngayon kasi yun lang talaga yung alam ko, sobrang limited lang. Again, hindi nga ako recruitment. Ito lang yung mga base sa mga usap-usapan sa call center industry. So if you find this video um, useful, just click the subscribe button and the notification bell below as well so that you will be notified whenever I have a video. Um, I'm gonna start the call center video kasi I realize when, I, when I'm reviewing my channel, wala pa akong call center, about call center world na video. So I'm starting to um, upload call center world mga questions. If you have questions guys, feel free to comment below and then um, I'll do my best to answer those questions if your questions um, is very interesting I will do a content as well so that masagot natin lahat ng mga tanong nyo tips as well uh, watch out for my next video I will give you tips on how to not necessarily um, ace an interview but for you to pass an interview mga common question tinatanong ng mga interviewer Upload natin yan for the next video. Abangan nyo yan. So, again, guys, please subscribe to this channel. Uh, hopefully, marami kayo natutunan sa video na sinan, I mean, na ginawa ko for today. And, apply na sa call center. Okay?